Is it going now for real? Oh my gosh, maybe it's gonna work. Tell me you guys if you see it. I have no idea what just happened. But we'll just pretend like it's all okay. Or I'm gonna pretend like it's all okay till some jumps in the chat and says it's all okay. I'm fixing this, okay, I'm waiting. I see zero people there, I see two people now. I'm waiting because it like crashed out and it made me like start everything over. So let me know if you can see everything okay and I'll start over. And we'll pretend like this just never happened. I see people, hello, hello, okay, hello. Okay, do over, <laughs> yay. Hey everybody, if the stream is weird, it's because I'm sitting in my parents' driveway. Um, we went to a couple garage sales this morning and I went a couple yesterday, went, went a couple? I went to a couple yesterday. Um, so yeah, hi everybody, it's Margaret, if you're new here, I am Margaret, and my channel is Texas Gal Treasures, and I like to say, you know, treasure hunting for the 21st century, because that's what we did today. We went treasure hunting and found some cool stuff. Hey, Shelby. Hi. I saw Richard Diva go through. I think I saw Lydia go through. Hey, everybody. Caffeine. So, um, hello, Vicio Vintage. How are you? Hi, Penny. How's it going? Okay, so I picked up some things. I picked up some that is for my homeschool thing, but I, uh, my homeschool channel, but and homeschooling and all that. Hey Neville, but I wanted to share it with you because um, homeschoolers are generally on a budget, and I looked up a few of these things on eBay, and they're selling for 35, 40 bucks on eBay. So it might be something that you consider if you're not looking for while you're out at garage sales that um, you might consider picking up because there are people. That are looking for these things. I feel like I just repeated myself. Hi Marcy, hi Neville. I think I said hi already, but hey, hey, hey. Okay, here we go. Now there's a few things I looked up and a few things I didn't. So, hey Susan from Little Rock. Today, I, I just started drinking the soda and it's really bubbling me up, so apologies you guys. Okay, um, I picked up, let's see if you can see, in this box, there's a lot of little um, stud earrings, some of which are silver, like little silver ball studs, and there is one gold one. So there's one, I mean, it's a solo. It's a solo gold one. Hey, Cheryl. Um, and I spent 250 on everything in this. So all the little studs were a buck, and then she charged me a, a dollar for this one. Um, and this one is a silver one with with it looks like maybe like a mother of pearl bit in there sorry the sun keeps catching it like so so that um, was a dollar and then this is another one that's silver it's a reversible so it's silver and then on one side it's got I'm guessing it's probably howlite but it you know there's a chance that it's turquoise and then on the other side it looks like uh, maybe it's supposed to be lapis but I can't it's so um, perfectly blue like there's no usually you'll see kind of like veins or something in there so yeah it'll be good for scrap for sure and then I think on the back of a couple of them you know how I say always check the backs because like the backing on a couple of the silver ones had a gold back on them so I'm gonna check those when I get home too isn't it pretty so it's like yeah it's this reversible pendant and it's got this nice like Trinity knot up at the top so if you know Celtic knots um, if you see one that's got like the, it looks like a triangle, they call it the Trinity knot. And if if you call it something else, then I call it the Trinity knot. Okay, so then also, I mean, I always pick up stuff for homeschool. I'm gonna do a homeschool haul with the, some of this. I won't show you all of it, but um, yeah. Anyway, so another thing I picked up to resell. Again, I'm tr I'm trying to pick up either jewelry or things that are small and easy to store because we have so much stuff and not as much storage as I used to have, but I did pick up at this garage sale these, it's like the wallpaper border up at the, that you put at the top of the room. Um, oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> and so I got these two, hey, bum crack picker. Uh, and they are Space and NASA, they actually say NASA on there, so I can use NASA. And these are, there were only two. I wish there had been more, because you know you want enough, if you're gonna do a whole room, you want more. I only see, I see 30 people in there and only one thumbs up. There were two thumbs up a second ago. Come on, man. Um, hey, Corinne, you haven't been in a long time. You need to go. Yeah, I, I was happy because I'm home and I know the area and I'm able to like zip around 
pretty easily because I know where everything is here. Thank you for those thumbs ups. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's those. I those are ones I didn't look up, but I have a feeling they'll do well because of the theme, like this. They're space, right? They're NASA, and that space is a hot topic right now. Oop, there they go. So I got those, and then look what I got. Guess what? So as I was leaving that garage sale where I got the, I got this and I these and I got a couple other things for the homeschool, which I'll show you. As I was leaving, because I spent eight bucks there, I was walking out and I saw this laying on like a little coffee table and I was like that looks like really nice leather really thick leather right so I go over to look at it closer and sure enough it is and it has a coach hang tag so I there's no doubt in my mind that this is authentic um, because this is a really like there if you know coach brand there some of their leather is not as thick as others like I have a, a one coach purse that has got the leather thickness of this if you're vegan apologies but this is a nice big like satchel briefcase and guess how much I paid for it guess put your guesses in the chat guess all right so it's got a couple compartments it's an amazing amazing condition a nice big I mean it's heavy a nice big you know clip right there and then there's another pocket in back a nice strong thick strap um, you know, really great hardware. Oh, you guys know me. <laughs> you know, I don't like to pay a lot. I actually paid up on this one for me. I paid a good bit, but I don't think I'm going to sell it. And I forgot to look this one up, but I, I would, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me a bit if this caught, um, was 400 plus new. Anyway, I bought it for $10. I did pay up and spent 10 bucks on this, but I was happy, happy to do. I mean, it's just in really, you could tell it's old, so it's probably a vintage one because one the purse that I have that's this kind of quality of leather is brought in like 97 or something so I, I'm pretty sure it's kind of old older anyway um yeah so chances are I'm gonna keep it hopefully my laptop fits in there because it's a really nice solid piece that's gonna last you know that even if it got messed up it would be great to re get repaired I need a little extra caffeine today <laughs> and let's see that's stuff for homeschool okay I wanted to share I got this too it's gonna be for our homeschool I spent three bucks on it but I looked it up and I saw one I think I think it was 25 or 30 bucks how much oh no it started buffering um I paid ten dollars for it is it buffering how's the feed you guys let me know because I'm in the driveway so yeah, so I'm, I got this. It's going to be for our homeschool room. I spent three bucks on it, but I saw a, a sold. Was it sold or was it just on there? Anyway, I saw one for 25 or 30 bucks. And it's just like a black globe with the silver. You can see it's silver. Silver um, lines and all the stuff. So pretty good shape. Good deal. Okay, it looks good. Good, good. Okay, globe, you get to go up here. You have the world. That's right. Why are they opening the garage door now? Okay, I told my dad what I was doing. <laughs> now he's opening. The, here it comes. What's he doing? He's coming to check on me. Hi, Dad. <laughs> he is. He's coming. Hi. You doing something? Yeah, I'm doing live video. Oh. <laughs> for a car ride. What's going on? Oh, it's me. It's yep. me. <laughs> okay. So another thing I picked up, also for the guys. I turned on my seat warmer. Yeah, I did. I was like, my tush is starting to get hot. Uh, it's already hot. But anyway, to dun dun, I have heat, like heated seats, and I accidentally pushed the button. I guess so. My tuchus was getting a little warm. Anyway, moving on. I bought this robotic kit, and it's um, this air-powered racer. And I, oh gosh, how much did I? I think it was a buck or two. It was really, it was really cheap. Um, and I looked this one up and I saw one up there for again around that $35 range. So uh, Yeah, and it had all the pieces. It was still it hadn't even been punched out yet like it's one of those that has the pieces that You gotta punch out the pieces, you know, and so like the pieces are still like not Punched out especially when it's like a hundred degrees outside who needs a warm backside, right? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there's that and then another thing 
again, this is for homeschool, which if you if you're gonna follow me in, on home if you follow me on homeschool, honey, you'll see it in a second. I picked up this. The woman was was a teacher, I'm guessing, because she had all this stuff. But I picked up this satchel. ETA is a um, education brand. I can't remember what it stands for. But when I looked inside the satchel, it had it says science investigation. It was all still new in the cellophane, you know, binder with all of these um, activities and standards and then also in here are all of the science things that you would need to do the experiment so like there's some battery pack things and there's light bulbs and droppers and I mean just all kinds of stuff in here for science experiments and especially as a homeschool like I said homeschool parents generally are working off of one income so there's some cord some cords and stuff like that, magnet stuff. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff in here. Um, that's for magnetism, funnels, thermometers. Anyway, um, so this I spent, I think she charged me two bucks for it. Maybe, maybe a, a dollar, because I spent eight dollars total and then 10 for the satchel. So this one I saw up, um, I saw I sold, it was in a backpack though, so instead of having this type of bag, it had like a backpack style bag, but it had all the same stuff in it, um, sold for $45. So, and it sold May, it was May 2018 that it sold. So that is definitely something to keep an eye out for. Like I say, you know, now that I'm homeschooling and I'm looking for stuff on the cheap, because it's expensive to buy stuff for homeschool for sure. Um, so there was that. We also bought at a garage sale today this Lego tub. This was two bucks. And we're probably gonna end up keeping it because we need more Legos apparently. But it was pretty complete with all of the castle pieces. And then there were even, you know, some bonus Minecraft and apparently a bonus biscuit of some sort. What do you think this is? The boys told me it was in there and I was like, don't touch it. What is this? What is, it, what is it, do you think? It doesn't really look like dried Play-Doh. It looks like a dried biscuit dough or something like that. I don't know, what do you think? I know, right, ew. Hmm. I'm looking to see if there's any more in there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave that in there for them. I wonder if I could sell random dried biscuit dough on uh, looks like homemade dough ornament stuff. I hope so but goodness only knows. Is this albino dog poop? Do albino dogs poop albino poop? Where's my sanitizer? <laughs> Sanitize, go. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, we'll probably end up keep that, keeping that, but I have a feeling, you know, if we make sure all the bits were there. Um, ew, <laughs> looks like credit right oh. It did have like the little bumpy things on it. Oh, hmm. um, yeah, so if, if if it did have all the pieces there, I'm pretty sure that we would be able to sell it for a good amount because it's a nice castle. I don't remember seeing the horse with the skeleton in there, but I saw most of the other pieces. There's a catapult? Okay. Anyway, anyway, so there's that. Um, I'm trying to see what else. I, I always pick up Lego, so I picked up this one too. Well, she really must not. It must have been a dollar for that satchel because I got this, the satchel, the border uh, for eight bucks, and then I got the coach bag for ten. So, hey, hey, did I say hey to Cindy? I saw her come in. Hey, Cindy. So yeah, this one still has the um, instructions and everything in there. I don't think that this was going to sell for a ton, but. Uh, for you know, for a dollar, I always I always pick up Lego if it's a good if it's a good price. I do I do. Um, and then I don't have a ton ton more. My guys picked up some stuff today. I tell you what, hey Tom, taking the kids with you. I guess I've taught them well, but they're almost a little too obnoxious. I have to talk to them. No, I don't want to say obnoxious. That sounds horrible. They have learned how to cut a deal, and. So we were out, so going, okay, good, good, good. Sorry, Randy tried to call. Anyway, it was five bucks. This garage sale today, and the one where I got the globe, and James was looking at this satchel. Hang on, I'll pull it up and show you. James wanted this, let me get it. Obviously he got it. He wanted this satchel. And so um, James is like, um, James says, 
can I give you two for it? <laughs> he can mind you, he's 10. He, and, and so the guy is looking at James like, did I just hear what I thought I heard coming out of this little kid? Um, and so the guy was like, um, are you buying anything else? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this globe. But I'm trying not to make eye contact because I could tell the guy's trying to check with me to see if my kid's legit, you know, like trying to make a deal with him. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm buying this globe. And then I like turned to like look away because I don't, I don't want to be in the middle of it. And so Jay, then James is like, so what do you think? Two dollars? Can we do two dollars? <laughs> I think the guy was so taken like, what? He was like, okay, let's do two dollars. <laughs> Hey, Cherry Picker. I think I saw it. Oh, hey, Tom, thank you for that super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, long story, but if you've been following my home stuff, any little bit else. And I just, y'all, I told you my alternator went out. I had to go pay for that. And then when I brought my car back to Houston to get the uh, oil done, I had to get my timing belt done too. So, oh my gosh. Anyway, so, so then at the next garage sale, I don't know if you can see it. Back there, there's like a bat, a box full of like balls and stuff, like softballs and golf balls and, hang on, let me put this back on here. Um, I'm gonna come back to the chat in one second. I see stuff going through. Uh-oh, did I mute you? Can you hear me? Ah! Hang on, I'm gonna tell you, but I think I keep muting you. Can you hear me? All right, make sure, tell me if you can still hear me. Anyway, this, we walked into this garage sale and they're like everything is for sale we need we need to like make a deal I'll make a deal so Mikey walks into their garage and sees like a scooter and he's like how much is the scooter and they're like oh that's not for sale I'm like Mikey no 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 that's their stuff in the garage he's like they said everything's for sale you know and then there's like a, a helmet like a motorcycle helmet and he's like I'll give you two bucks for the motorcycle helmet <laughs> And I was like, babe, that's, that's, a, no, that's like in the back of the garage on the shelf, you know? And I was like, no, no, Michael. And he's like, they said, make us an offer. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, no, no. So then this tub with all the balls in it had 25 cents each on it. And Michael brings the tub over to the guy and was like, is it 25 cents for all of them? <laughs> and the guy's like, sure 25 cents for all of them so i need to tell him like you need to be a little more subtle about it like a little more like smooth <laughs> i don't know it's just maybe they can get away with it now but oh my gosh they need to like smooth those rough edges out a little bit because i was i want to say i was embarrassed but i was like oh my gosh ah. yeah anyway but then James got a couple free things. He got a VCR and some kind of light. I'm not sure. The guy said it doesn't work, so James could take it. So James took it to, to like mess with, tinker with. And then at that same garage sale where Mikey was trying to buy the guy's motorcycle helmet for two bucks, um, he got like a, a toy cash register. And at first he was like, well, the guy said it was free, but I don't really want it. Um, and I was like, babe, if, he, if somebody, you know, if you think you can resell it, because you're always trying to earn some money, like, just say thank you and bring it to the car. We'll clean it up. You can stick it on eBay or something. He's like, oh, okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, I mean, if somebody offers it, it's in good shape. It's got all the pieces. I don't know if it's still in here. It's a little pink. Let me see. I mean, I, I told him, even if you can sell it for five bucks, I like purple, purple and pink um, cash register thing. You know, I, you're always wanting money. You're always, he's trying, right now he's trying to save money for a fish tank in his room. <sighs> Cause I'm like, I'm not buying that for you. Sorry, <laughs> not gonna happen. Yeah, anyway, so um, another thing, you know, I always look for are these kind of kits. So this was at, this was actually at Goodwill. I paid 99 cents for it. I didn't look it up, but I, like I say, as a homeschool mom, I'm always looking for stuff like this little science kits, right? I, I try to pick them up when I can. Mostly the other stuff is like books and stuff for school. And I did get this Lego bag. I paid up at Goodwill for it, but it's almost brand new. Well, it is brand new. It has the new with tags anyway. But I paid seven bucks for it. I thought it was cool. Anyway, so yesterday at Goodwill, I'm, I did a ride along. I haven't edited, obviously, or you would have seen it. But have you ever been in a Goodwill when they had a fire drill? Because it was crazy. They had a fire drill at Goodwill yesterday while I was there, and it was banana pants. 
I mean, the manager was trying to get people, and it was like a hundred degrees outside. So I, we went outside, and then he's like, no, no, you guys need to walk 200 feet across the parking lot, and all of you go stand under those trees across the parking lot. And so half the people, more than half the people probably were like, what? Uh, no, goodbye. Another lady like walked down like to the store that was next door to Goodwill. So like, here's Goodwill, here's the next store. So she's standing in front of the store on her phone. The, the manager goes over to her and is like, um, if you're gonna be here for our fire drill, you need to go stand under the trees. And she's looking at him like, you are crazy. And she started walking down to like Kroger's where the grocery store was. She's like, um, I'm not going to walk over under those trees because you're telling me to, crazy man. It was nuts. <laughs> My girls don't need to do fire. It was, cr I couldn't believe, I've never, I've never in my million years, and apparently there was like a woman in the dressing room and he was trying to get her out because he was telling another woman later, one of the coworkers, apparently there was a lady in the dressing room. He was trying to convince her to come out, but she didn't speak English. And so here he is trying to convince a woman to get out of the dressing rooms who doesn't understand what he's saying. Could you imagine if you're the woman in the dressing room like, oh my gosh, there's a crazy man outside the dressing rooms trying to get me to come out. It was nuts. Anyway, I am going to uh, go do the rest of the haul. It sounds like fire marshal bill. Oh my gosh, Richard Diva, ha you have got to see my sister do fire marshal bill impersonation. She's so funny. If you guys know my sister, she probably has done it on one of our videos. It was crazy, Lydia. It was nuts. I, I tried to get some footage of it. I do. So bad. But I was like, oh no, I've never had this happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when I do the ride along, be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, and Fire Marshal Bill. My sister does a really good Fire Marshal Bill um, impersonation. So anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm I'm gonna do the the haul for my homeschool channel and then uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. But we're going back home today, so woohoo! Yay! <sighs> Thanks for coming to hang out. You guys have really needed it, and I'm gonna try to get back on track with my videos. I know they've been kind of all over the place, and I keep saying I'm gonna get back on track. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for coming to hang out. I needed it, and I hope you needed it too. Bye everybody. Again, one more group post. Was it a farce? No, it was a scheduled fire drill. Like, we're doing a fire drill, like a school fire drill. You know, it was crazy. The fire alarms didn't go off or anything. He just started walking around the store saying, we're having, oh, he made an announcement first. And then he was walking around the store going, leave your cart where it is. Exit the building, we're having a fire drill. Yeah, okay. All right, everybody, I'll see you soon. Bye.